Hello trainers and welcome to another episode of you versus and that's it's another GBA match this time between KB and Omar the owners of the Minnesota Nito Kings and the uh, St. Louis Rampardos that's right I probably should have remembered that because you know that's an important thing I need to do as a, as a announcer for these battles but you know what we're gonna go right into this battle but we, just look at these teams though first really quick hold on Hold on, these are both very good looking teams. Let's just see what we got going on right here. Oh, I'm loving these battles. These battles always seem to be really, like, really good. Uh, at least, there's always a really experienced player, but it seems like it's going to be a short match today. Uh, today we have Omar sending out Raichu as his lead. It's a nice and shiny Raichu, too. Look at that. Ooh, pretty. And the Gardevoir is coming out right off the bat. Oh, my goodness. And he traces the static, which is very nice. The static is actually really nice to trace because, you know whether or not that's lightning rod so you can figure out what moves you need to do now that is a mega gardevoir coming off on this guy the mega gardevoir does end up going for the hyper voice that is a pixelate boosted hyper voice and i don't think anything is going to be living that right easily but the raichu takes it fairly nicely goes for the iron tail and manages to bring it down to 22 hp the gardevoir does not want to risk probably getting hit with a quick attack so it does probably switch into the needle king right here and does a uh, do we reveal the quick attack right on this side? Yes, we do. The quick attack is coming right now. And unfortunately, he isn't able to do anything to this scarfed Nido King, probably holding Earth Power to get that Sheer Force boost, which is very nice for Nido Kings. Now, the Gallade does come out on this side, which is very interesting. And the Ice Punch is coming off from the Nido King instead, doing a ton of damage to the Gallade. However, it, and it does manage to outspeed the Gallade yet again and go for a Poison Jab, knocking out the Gallade in two hits. Wow, five turns in, we've already got really just power hitting, power hits, power hits, power hits, going back and forth. The Garchomp does come out inside and to replace the, uh, the, the Gallade and goes for the Mega Evolution. We hardly ever see Mega Garchomp anymore as it's not the most viable and you can still use Mega uh, regular Garchomp very nicely as it does go for the Earthquake to knock out this Nidoking. Woo, that is a that is a powerful earthquake, my friend. Calm down a little bit. The Gardevoir does come back out again, probably attempting to outspeed the Garchomp, which it will very easily do. Go for the Hyper Voice and manage to knock out the Mega Garchomp. So the Battle of Megas between Gardevoir and Garchomp, Mega Gardevoir has taken the win. Now we have Axel, the uh, Typhlosion, coming in place of that Mega Garchomp, and the Hyper Voice is coming off from this thing again, from this Gardevoir again, not thing, going out into the, uh, to the Typhlosion, not doing too much, but the Flamethrower is going to do enough to knock out the Gardevoir. Very well done, very well played. Alright, now we have Scorpion coming out, and Axel does go for the rollout onto the, uh, to the Gligar, very nice, and it's a bulky, probably Eviolite Gar, uh, uh, Evia like Gar uh, Gligar, not Gardevoir, Gligar, Gl Gardevoir just left. This rollout's probably going to be building up damage over time. It's not the most reliable move, but hey, it's doing its job right now. It's still landing all those hits, so rollout is getting more and more powerful as it goes on. It only lasts for five turns, but this he really needs to land a knockoff on this Gligar instead. However, the Gligar is landing knockoffs on the Typhlosion. We have another rollout hitting the Scorpion, and it's doing a bit more damage, bringing it down to half HP, but the Gligar is able to get the KO with the knockoff onto the Typhlosion, so very well done over there, Casey. Yeah, that was your name. Um, anyway, anyway, now the Hitmonlee is coming back into, or coming into this field, and we get to see the Stones have started to dig into uh, the Hitmonlee as he goes for the high jump kick onto this Scorpion, but it's not doing anything. He really needed to land a knockoff over anything. And the Roost does come off from the Gligar, so it does lose its flying type for this turn right here. Or for this coming turn. And he does decide to pull out right here because he doesn't want to take any sort of uh, any sort of move, I guess. That would really hurt it. The Scizor does come out on, uh, on the uh, Minnesota side. Right? That is the Minnesota team. Yes, the Minnesota Nido Kings. But the Blaze Kick does come from the Hitmonlee, or Fire Punch. And knocks out the Scizor in one hit. So very well done, Hitmonlee. Miss Kicks, the Lop Bunny, is coming in and goes for the Drain Punch onto the Hitmonlee, not doing enough to knock it out because unfortunately Hitmonlee is more a little bit more defensive than people take for granted, and Lop not the strongest. And Lop does go down to a close combat from this Hitmonlee, so Hitmonlee is putting in a lot of work on the, on the other side, but he does end up getting to 1 HP. 1 HP on, the, on, on this last Life Orb hit. So now we have Hitmonlee going for the Blaze Kick again, 
to try and hit this uh, this scallopede for very hard damage, which it manages to do. However, he does land the poison point, which isn't going to very much matter anyway, because the life orb damage is going to be able to knock it out more so. And the Hitmonlee is now down for this match. The Rock Climb does come from the Scallopede, but not hit managing to hit anything. The Raichu is back in again, lands on the Stealth Rocks to deal a da enough damage to knock it out. So Raichu is now down two on the switch in, which is really unfortunate actually, because he probably could have just safely switched into Tyrantrum right here, just as he does now, to uh, just get a really good advantage and probably hold off on the uh, Pikachu for, for fodder if he needed to later on, but I'm assuming this is his last Pokemon right here. I haven't really been keeping too much track, but you know how these things go. Now we do see the Earthquake come off from the Tyrantrum, uh, from the Tyrantrum, I thought it was Tyrun for a second, but it is Tyrantrum. And the poison is starting to do a little bit more damage. The steamroller does come off from the Scallopede exposed and onto the Tyrantrum, not doing a ton of damage. As we do see Dragon Claw come from this Tyrantrum. Very nicely done. As the Scallopede does go down. So I believe we're probably like one and one right now. And the last two Pokemon of this match. We have Scorpion come back, the Gligar. And he's going to be doing a ton of damage probably to this uh, Tyrantrum and being able to do very well because he can't hit Earthquakes. All he can do is hit Rock Slide and it's only going to probably hit for neutral damage. And the Eviolite is still intact so unfortunately for uh, for the other side, for the, the St. Louis Rampardos, that's not going to be doing too much as because we have a Stall War right here with the Gligar. And this is the last turn that Tyrantrum is going to be living with the with the poison up right now and the ancient power does hit and he manages to get a boost that he is unable to use that's so sad and such a way to that's that's quite a way to end the match as we do have the toxic able to knock out this uh, tyrantrum right now and tyrantrum is now down and that is good game guys Woo! very well done kc kb sorry one letter off kb and omar you two did a great job in your matches in your match it came right down to the wire, yeah, because the Gardevoir was knocked out, the Scizor, the King, the Lopunny, and the Scallopy. It was a one and one and all it came down to was a little bit of stalling. So, good game, you guys. It was really well done. I hope to see, I look forward to seeing your matches in the future, and I hope you guys do, do too. So, if, uh, if you wouldn't be so kind as to leave a like on this video, if you enjoyed it, only if you enjoyed it, and maybe if you just like me as a person, um, that would be cool too. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already, because, you know, support is always appreciated. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. Yesterday, I did stream on Twitch, so, uh, there's always that link there to make sure to follow me. I may be streaming sometime early, next, sometime this week as well. I haven't quite decided when. Um, but I'm gonna try and see if I can get my hands on a, uh, a capture card for my Wii U because Splatoon is coming out on Friday and I kind of want to stream that. So there's always that. Um, also, don't forget to follow my uh, Facebook, my Twitter, as well as my Instagram just to keep up with everything. I don't post on them a lot, but the more people I see that are on there, uh, the more likely and more willing I'll probably be to post um, on there just because it, you guys will be able to see it and be getting notifications for it and stuff like that. Because... I really just want you guys to see the videos if they when they come out because this is your this is your entertainment. I'm working for you for free. But anyway, before I keep rambling on, I'm going to say have a nice day, evening or night, whichever time you're watching this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.